Hello everyone. As you can see, I chopped my hair off. I got rid of about three inches and it feels so good. My hair had been falling out after having my son like really, really bad and he was constantly pulling on it when it was down to here. And so I cut it off and it's not as easy of a length for him to grab and it doesn't feel like it's falling out as much for whatever reason. So I am just totally, totally loving this. And I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to get some volume at the root without having to tease. My hair was kind of getting like unmanageable and just like really weird when I teased it so I had to figure out a way to do it without teasing so I'm just going to be using some rollers and this product that I have recently found it is called living proof full dry volume blast and it does not require you to put it in your hair when it's wet and then blow dry that's what you have to do with most volumizing products I found and so this one is like it says it's dry volume so you can just kind of spray it throughout your hair without having to worry about blow drying it afterwards also my hair was already curled before I did this tutorial so you don't have to do the volumizing before you curl your hair you can the volume with the curls already in your hair and these were this was done with a straightener not a wand so if you're interested in that tutorial please let me know below and I can go ahead and do that it's it's a little bit different than the um, wand curls so let's go ahead and get started all right so as you can tell my hair looks super flat right now so I am going to go ahead and get some volume in the top because I cannot stand my hair flat like this it drives me crazy but I have found a way to do it without teasing. I'm going to be using rollers again, kind of like my Big Texas hair tutorial, but we're not going to be teasing. Um, you are going to take a section of your hair and you are going to spray your root down um, with the living proof. All right, and then you're just going to put a roller right up underneath it. And you kind of want to take not really thick pieces because um, that way you get it closer to your root and the volume comes from here instead of here, if that makes sense. So I'm going to take this fairly thin piece and spray it. And then put my roller over it. And you're probably wondering how, like, what is this gonna do? How is that gonna hold anything? And we are going to take a hair dryer when I'm done putting all these in and blow dry over it so that they heat up. So let's go ahead and spray. We're not gonna do the whole head, just the, the top half. you guys so after you look super awesome like this <laughs> go ahead and take your hair dryer blow dry your hair on the velcro roller or where the root is for um, a minute to two minutes I kind of just go through my hair and concentrate on those for around a minute or two and I'm going to go ahead and do it on the highest heat setting so here we go <laughs> After I blow dried the roots I'm going to let it sit for about 15 minutes or so you can do it for longer the longer that it sets the better result that you're gonna have um, I would say a minimum of 15 minutes so if you have stuff to do and you know nowhere to be where you have to take your hair out immediately the longer you let it sit the better but I will be back in about 15 minutes or so okay so it's been about 15 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and just take the rollers out
Okay, so now that they're all out and it looks a little crazy, we're gonna take our comb and just kind of go through these pieces like this that look a little bit weird. to spray this throughout like all of my hair not just the roots and it actually says on the can like you can spray from roots to ends so I like to pick up a few pieces like this and just kind of spray underneath and so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do all right guys that is my super easy way of getting some volume in my hair without really having to do um, any teasing or anything like that it's very easy very quick so if you like this hair tutorial give this video a thumbs up and if you're interested in how I get these kind of waves at the bottom they're not full curls um, or waves from the top like my messy curls tutorial they're a little bit different because I do use a straightener um, but if you're interested in how I got those and want to see um, I will do tutorial on that if you will comment below and let me know if you're interested in that and I'll also, do not forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Good job.